horror movies some of us hate it some of us watch dead meat kill count all year round and while watching some of those kill counts i've thought hmm i feel like this shit is way too easy and i would not die in this situation so that's where this video came from movies i feel like i could whoop these niggas asses in A Quiet Place. Now, A Quiet Place is about these aliens that drop down on Earth and they want to slime anything that makes a peep. Now, these motherfuckers have Tyrone Syndrome, meaning they cannot swim. Now, the main way you gonna deal with this is, I would say go on a boat or go on an island or something and lure these motherfuckers out. Just go somewhere and make a lot of fucking noises to piss them off, make them think they can come get you. Boom, they dumbasses fall in water and drown. That's all you gotta do is just drown these motherfuckers. And it's really not that fucking hard. And all also, or just use the fucking high-pitched noises against them. Motherfuckers already did that with the hearing aid, but in real life, we have sound guns and sound devices that are meant for crowds that you can easily use on those dumb motherfuckers and just kill them like that. <laughs> Jennifer's body. It's about this demon girl in high school that wants to eat every single nigga she can. She just feeds on people. You're trying to be her. I mean, personally, <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> you got me. You got me. I'm letting her kill me, bro. That's Megan Fox. Are you smoking crack, my nigga? Bro, if Megan Fox wanted me to hit, and I even if I knew she was gonna kill me right after, so what? That's Megan Fox. Hey, disconnected. The circle. Now, the circle is a group of people abducted by aliens, and they're put in this circle. Now. The last one to be in a circle is who wins and who lives. Now, there's all different types of people. There's old people, young people, children, pregnant women. Now, the guy in the movie beats it, but there's a caveat. You have to be smart enough, and your manipulation game has to be on fucking 10 to do this. Because if you attract too much to yourself and you're too overpowering, they're going to get you out and killed. If you're too quiet and you're not saying too much, you're going to be out and killed. So you have to walk that fine line of being heard and also going under the radar when you need to be. Now, me personally, Personally, ha, I'm him. I'm getting that shit done. Now, the only thing for your average nigga to see if you can get it done is if you can stomach killing a pregnant woman and a child. Because the end of that movie is the main guy and two other people. He tricks the child into self-deleting and then kills the pregnant woman. That is a very dark thing you would have to live with for the rest of your life. Even if you're like, I did it for my survival, there's no way that would not fuck you up mentally. It would hurt, but you would be alive. But you would definitely need therapy after this. Get Out is about a movie where you go to your girlfriend's crib and then you realize, uh, some of these black people ain't really black people. It's a white man inside that black body. And that's how you know you fucked up. They want to perform a surgery on you and take your nigga brain out and put their white brain in so they can have all the modern commodities of being a black man and just getting them genetics. So how are you going to beat these white motherfuckers? One, I'm going to keep it a buck. There's a reason they want your bodies. You beat them genetically. You just got to whoop these niggas asses. I'm going to just keep that a buck. It's really not that fucking hard the only thing you gotta watch out for is they weapon so if you can catch one lacking get they weapon nigga you a nigga i know you know how to use a glock if you don't deal with that shit that's a walk in the park to deal with these motherfuckers i mean it's all right like predator now i know y'all like ain't no way blood think he can be predator but i do hear me out we lure him into a field you know because predators have egos that's their biggest downfall they have ego so if you hop in a field and you're like hey nigga what you being a bitch for you using weapons come on nah they're not your average nigga in the hood nigga in the streets if you tell them to respect the 1v1 and drop the weapons they will gladly drop the weapons and box your shit the thing is you gonna have motherfuckers on the perimeter with weapons so soon as he drops all his shit and he get ready to rush you all you gotta do is duck and cover and say light this nigga up they're gonna light nigga up and he dead now that's if it's one if it's multiple predators my boy you not gonna win that i'm gonna keep it a buck with you even if you use the same exact strategy you're not gonna win that at least one of these niggas is gonna power through and that's if it's the mid-tier ones i say that strat would work on mid-tier ones maybe even a singular high tier one but even then i don't think that would work aliens now aliens is one of the franchises where it's like if we're talking about a singular alien maybe maybe and that's if you got the flamethrower and you got weapons like one homie got the flamethrower the other got the fucking chopper and y'all just gotta mow that motherfucker down but if it's in the same situation to where it's in the city and y'all are just surrounded and it just starts killing people the only way to win that is quarantining the city and 
bombing it that's the only way so if you're in the city you're cooked but if you're outside the city and you're thinking damn how do i save the rest of the planet from being overtaken by this species my nigga quarantine the city and bomb it there's no two ways about that situation if you think about the loss of life in there and all that other bullshit you cannot you just gotta bomb that motherfucker kill all the aliens and call it a day you all think you'll make it out of this alive halloween now before y'all take out the pigs for it and tell me nigga you not beating mike myers let me tell you why i would beat this nigga mike has been jumped on several occasions michael myers is not jason he is not immortal he cannot eat damage he cannot go through shit mike is too easy to fucking beat put a shotgun to that nigga's head and i'm not talking about the bullshit they be doing in the movies i mean like literally from a distance take out that spaz 12 point that shit at his fucking head region and let that bitch go any fucking gun would honestly take michael out that is a human in a mask it is not jason he's not fucking immortal he can't come back if he gets shot in the head that nigga's cooked he got jumped by a whole bunch of fucking hillbillies i'm not dying to this nigga i don't give a fuck but if it's just you and him and you ain't got a group of niggas to jump him unless you got a gun <laughs> nigga you're you're cooked mike is fucking you up that is a six five big ass nigga with like trend in his veins he's gonna do you in the worst way and it's not gonna be nice